Welcome guys, I promised you an update and uh, here it is. So the latest version is out on itch, you could get it right now. And you could see all the changes I've done. I've done quite a few changes and I want to just jump into them really quick, um, not go too in depth. So let's start up the demo scene. First thing you'll notice is the player bobs with the sub. So because the sub now is uh, I've got physics and buoyancy turned on and it actually moves with the waves, the player basically uh, stands on their feet and moves with the waves. Second, I've added a lot of reflection probes and light probes throughout the scene. What this means is the lighting looks even better than before. You can see the soft shadows um, uh, kind of being uh, reflected or, or you know cast shadows on all of the objects and you'll see the lighting looks a little bit better. With the reflection probes I'm able to basically compute how the lighting will bounce off of one material onto another so it just adds to the atmosphere inside the sub pretty significantly in my opinion. You can see some of these materials are kind of glossy and metallic looking because of the lights and whatnot. Another thing I've added is the ability to uh, kind of stop you from going off of uh, the platforms. So rather than being one big plane now, I've got the ability to control exactly where you can and can't walk as a player. A lot of these changes are kind of unrefined and, you know, like animations and whatnot, I got enhanced, but at least uh, this is a good starting point for me. And I've done a lot of the, the core scripting involved. Now it's just kind of really refining and filling things in. So I'm pretty excited about this update. A lot of under the hood. However, you can see some of that labor. I've also added some of the ladders. You can walk up to the ladder, click it, and of course, walk. I have a really unrefined uh, animation for now, but it's there. So we'll walk up to the conning tower and walk up again out onto the outside of the sub. Again, the model is ugly and I've kind of tore it apart. I'm rebuilding it. But the key takeaway here for me is I have a completely different uh, scene setup lighting wise outside of the sub versus the interior. You can see the FPS is pretty high and the way I'm computing the reflections, the lights uh, and whatnot uh, is pretty different. I'm really happy with all the work I've done under the hood to allow you to transition from inside to outside of the sub. I've also enabled a planar reflection so you can see the land uh, is reflecting off the water. I have a little bit more work to do with the shader to make sure that uh, the haze and fall off is accounted for, especially when we've got some click clipping and fog turned on in the FPS camera. Ooh, you can see our guy here is uh, having fun standing upright. All right, uh, walking down the ladder. Again, all this system is somewhat unrefined, lots of work to do, uh, but you can walk on the outside of the sub. You can see some of the components I'm starting to model in, such as this is the main diesel intake trunk. Uh, we'll have the torpedo loading bay. We'll have the all the piping here. So as warships fire onto you, hopefully that doesn't happen, but if they do, I want to actually be able to deform the sub and you'll be able to take a look down into all this stuff. And so if a pipe is leaking and you don't fix it, you could actually get water in the sub and all that. So this will be a lot of work, but it should be a lot of fun at the end of the day. So, um, Again, that's kind of most of the changes here, a lot under the hood, but as, as you can see, uh, we're way further along than last time. You can now actually walk outside the sub and, uh, and interact with different parts of it, which I think is pretty cool because it took a lot of work under the hood to make all this happen smoothly, and now it's really about refining. So uh, on the next update, hopefully you'll see better animations, you'll see you know much more refined systems without some of the glitches you're seeing here. but. I wanted to get this in your hand so I could get some proper feedback from everybody. Alright, finally, let me not forget about the uh, key C to change camera. So we've got our orbital camera running, and you could see in the outside view the clipping is much further, so you could get a good feel for the, for the world, and you could see the FPS is pretty high. You could zoom in, you could see the sub underwater, on top of the water. If you start the engines, the propellers will actually move and, and they'll, uh, they'll spit out bubbles and whatnot. And you could press E again for uh, basically flyby camera 
free camera. So you could, you know, just like in Silent Hunter and other games, go check out other ships. There are colliders, so you can't zoom into the sub. You're limited to how deep you could go in it. But this starts to give you a really good idea of the world around you. So those are the changes so far. Again, update is life. I welcome uh, any feedback and I'll continue iterating on this and enhancing the model, enhancing the animations, and starting to polish things off. Um, thanks for tuning in to the U-Boat Sim devlog uh, for July uh, 12th, 2019. And I look forward to the next one and I hope you do as well. Thank you.